Ahmed says, when we join the Imam in Ruku' in Dhuhr or Asr, or in Ruku' of any silent rak'ah, and said the dhikr at least once, then that rak'ah is valid for us. But how is it possible? Because we haven't recited the Fatiha while reciting Fatiha in silent prayers and in the rak'ah is a pillar for the follower as well, without which our prayer is invalid. Ahmed, who told you that without the Fatiha, your rak'ah is invalid? I think Ahmed will say, uh, the Prophet said, La salata liman lam yaqra' bi ummi al-kitab. There is no prayer valid for those who do not recite the Fatiha. I said, okay, jazakallah khair. And who told us that when the Imam is in Ruku' and we join him without reciting, reciting the Fatiha, this is a valid rak'ah? Ahmed says, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. Well, there is a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari where the companion came, entered the masjid, and found the companions with the Prophet ﷺ in the ruku' position. So from the back of the masjid, from the door, he said, Allahu Akbar, and made ruku' and walked while in the ruku' position until he was within the row. So the Prophet said, Sama Allah Ali Muhammad, and he continued the prayer with him. Afterwards, the prayer concluded, the, the, uh, the Prophet ﷺ concluded the prayer and said, who did that? So the companion said, I did it, O Prophet of Allah. So the Prophet said to him, Zadakallahu hirsan wa la ta'ud. May Allah Azza wa Jal increase you in being careful and steadfast. But do not do that again. In another way of reading it, wa la tu'id, which translates to do not repeat the prayer because your prayer is valid. So the companion, may Allah be pleased with him, did not recite the Fatiha. Yet the Prophet ﷺ approved his rak'ah to be valid. What the Prophet did not approve was him walking in the state of bowing, in the state of ruku' until he joined the row. He should have walked normally. And then if the Imam was still in ruku', he should make takbir and make ruku' without uh, uh, reciting the Fatiha either way. So, Akhi, it is among all major scholars that if you attain the Imam in the Rukur position, you say, Allahu Akbar, this is your inaugural takbir, which suffices for Allahu Akbar, the second for Rukur. But if you say them twice, no problem. And whether to say Subhana Rabbi Al Azim with the Imam or not, the safer opinion is that you should say it once even if you could not manage to say it once as long as you and him were in the ruku' position this is sufficient and there is no need to recite the fatiha because the companion's action which was approved by the prophet suffices and allah knows best